Hi there. If you don't know, my name is Sierra Marquis. I have a Master of Business Administration degree and I went to school so you didn't have to. Now, I've been missing for a few days, but that's okay because I'm back. I'm back. Still here. Last time I promised you that we were going to talk about some new terms that I want to bring into the conversation. And those terms are accounting terms, some financial accounting, some managerial accounting, but mostly we're going to focus on managerial accounting. Now, I want to introduce those terms, but I think I need to take a step back because we need to talk about first why we're even going to talk about those terms and what they mean to us and how they differ and how they're used and how they're useful. So there's a difference between financial accounting and managerial accounting. Financial accounting is used for people outside of the firm. So let's say the government, like the IRS, the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC. That's for that's what financial accounting is for. That's where you get your your debits and your credits and all that fun stuff. Okay. Managerial accounting, which is where we're going to be focusing on, is for internal people. Okay. It's for business managers to run the business, to manage the business, and to measure performance. So that's what we're going to be talking about. Managerial accounting. Feel free to look it up so you can have a better understanding of these next few videos I'm going to do. I may do another one today just because, um, but probably won't be until tomorrow. But managerial accounting is what we're going to focus on because it gives you key performance indicators that you don't have to make up on your own. There's already lots and lots of literature on the topic already, the topic of managerial accounting. So there are plenty of resources out there, me being one of them. So with managerial accounting, it gives you a measuring stick for measuring how the business is doing. Okay, and that can be measured in different ways. That can be measured in return on assets. That can be measured on how quickly you get stuff in, how quickly you get stuff out, how efficient your inventory control methods are. Um, let's see, um, how funds are being used, how equipment is being used. What's our return on our equipment? What's going on with that? How's our income doing? How's the income statement looking? Things like that. So I want to like go over each thing for each video because it's kind of a lot. And if I go, if I automatically jump into return on assets or the income statement, well, that's not going to matter if you don't know what it's composed of. Okay. Things such as raw material, labor, your variable costs, your fixed costs, things like that. So I want to go over each one of those topics to set the foundation because that's very important to understand before we get to looking at the financial statements, okay? Because the financial statements are made up of those those elements. So we need to know what each element means before we move on, okay? So I'll see you soon.